uh, well, I've got a nice pet haul for you today. So, yeah, thought I'd uh, show you everything I've got because pets almost got some new toys in again. Yay! So, you'll be excited to see them new toys in a minute. I've got Matilda some great new toys for a cage. So, tonight I'll put them in and she'll put them in and she'll love them. So, uh, I just know she will. So, yeah. So I'll do the pets on one first, but first off, I'll just let you know. No, I'll tell you in a bit after when I get round to it. We'll do pets on first. So I bought some a bag of Bisquats gravy bones. I thought I'd give them a try yet again. Now that they've been off them a while, they might like them. Um, because I really need to try and get Rosabi to get his teeth down, especially if it's if it starts if it's making him ill at the back. So, if I just break one in half for him and put it in his bed, he might eat it then. So, I've got some of that for the Amis. Oh, he's so exciting! <laughs> and then I picked up some more treats. These ones are the... Uh, what are these now? The Biscuit Bites with Carrot. So, these, like, these are like the Pets at Home versions of the Carrotees. Shape of Carrots, if you remember them. So uh, these are going with the others when I do my treat collection. So because I've not opened the other two bags yet that I showed you the other day, I want to put them all together and film it for you. Yeah, so they thought like the carrotees, and then we got the. Uh, let me see, because the writing on these are so bad, they need to make them more bolder. Right, right. these are the oatmeal crisp with maple syrup, and these are. Really hard, so these are lot with teeth as well. So I'll have to check the symbol for that after. I'll just have a see if I can see it. There you go, it's a super for hamsters, so yeah. But uh, I don't think I'd give it to his derby, even though he's not got diabetes. Right, here we go. Are you excited, guys? Oh my, yeah, brand new in. The wooden donut. So this is for Matilda because uh, Rosabi just won't touch it. It's too too thick for him, too big. So yeah, that's for Matilda. I got two of these. So one for the future hamster. So there's one, and here's the other. Yeah, so I've got two of them. And then brand new in, let me just get hold of this right, don't know if you can see it all, but yet it's a uh, little mobile, so I think Matilda will love swinging on this, I'm, well I hope she does, she doesn't seem to like anything I give her. So yeah, it's got little corn, uh, sizzled corn on it, sizzled carrots, little beads, be careful of the beads though, <laughs> um, wooden sticks, yeah, so... This was really, really cute. I can't resist this, so I got this. So, that's so exciting. Can't believe they got some more new range in. And then we got this little garland. Because I find with the other garlands, you know, like the ones where, like the rugby ones and the love art ones and the daisy ones, the wood's been painted and it's a bit shiny. So, I don't think the, um, Matilda can get a teeth on it proper, so she doesn't touch it. Where well, this one's much better, it's untouched, you see. It's all it is, it's just been dyed with vegetable dye. But the wood's untouched, so she'll be able to get her teeth into it. So that's my hopes anyway, because she's such a monkey. Now here's another one. Oh, God. I'll have to get another one of these when I can. Are you ready, guys, for this? A Knickerbocker Glory. Whee! <laughs> oh, look at that. That'll take a Syrian hamster a long time to chew through. The wood's so thick. Um, they're also good for rabbits and guinea pigs as well and rats and stuff. Yeah, no problem. But um, for Syrian, it'll, this should uh, take her quite a while to go through. So, yeah. It's really, really, really cute. So, what's it say there? Let's, wooden Knickerbocker Glory. <laughs> Yeah, it's so cute. <clears throat> yeah, so that's the toy, the new toys that are in. Then I got some more Harry hamster because um, I'm running out, so I've got two bags because I'm going to do two separate diets. You see, this one's for Matilda, 
and this one's for Rizabi because one will be for Dwarf like you'll be having that from now on with uh, Burgess um, Dwarf Hamster Harvest and the Pets Home Nuggets because he's going to stay on even though he's not got diabetes it scared me a bit with him being poorly uh, he's going to stay on a low sugar diet Matilda will be switching she's still on this but she'll be switching from the Pets at Home Muesli to the Burgess Syrian I've just ordered it on Amazon I'm waiting for that to come so in the meantime uh, there's still a bit of Pets at Home Muesli to mix with it but yes, yeah, so I'll be doing another hamster diet soon. Once I've done everything, I'll show you how I mix it this time. And yeah, and also she'll have a pets and pets own nuggets mixed with it as well. So they'll be on premium food from now on, which which they are anyway. But so that's that. Then I went to Asda and I got some of these baby cotton white pads. Now this is for. Um, Wiping and bathing Rizabi's eye just to keep it uh, from weeping all the time because uh, the vet still can't understand what's going on with his eye, it's not infected or anything. But it might clear up once he's uh, finished his antibiotics. But I've got some little bit of news on that in a bit anyway. So, also from Asda, I picked up this Heinz's Alt. And banana multigrain like cereal porridge type thing so this won't be just for Rizabi I'll give some of this to Matilda as well because I'm going to start giving them um, like treats like this as well but at the moment this is definitely going to Rizabi to bulk up his calories as you know I then got some broccoli so uh, I'll wash really wash that um, thoroughly after and chop it up and put it in an airtight container uh, that's for Rizabi as well and well Matilda I don't think she'll eat fresh veg but I'm going to try with a bit but I'll break a little tiny piece off and give it to her I then got some uh, cow and gate spoonfuls pure baby rice again this is to bulk up, bulk up Rizabi's calories to make him put weight on so yeah so there's that and then I bought some eggs because I needed some eggs for myself as well but I thought well while I'm doing some eggs I'll do some scrambled egg as well um, and give him a bit of scrambled egg see if he likes a bit of scrambly egg and then this is for me really but I might give a tiny little spoonful to the Elmis this is the Meridian and it's the uh, smooth cashew butter I absolutely adore this now this is safe for hamsters it's just 100 percent cashews that's all it is no salt no palm oil no rubbish all it is is just cashews let's see if i can see on here where is it let's see if you could pick it up i don't think you will but all it says is roasted cashews and that's all it's got 100 percent 100 percent uh so I might put that on um, a little piece of breadstick and uh, give give a little piece to the, uh, as a treat at weekend to the Amis. But um, but I love this anyway. I put it on crumpets with jam and everything. It's just lovely. So then on the last trip I knit to Wilkinson's and um, I got some of these yogurt drops from Matilda. So um, what I do is with the well, I'll show you when I do the treat collection. But what I do with the yogurts, I get one of each the um, the drops. I get like yogurt drop, milk drops, chocolate drops, and then I mix them in a uh, in a bowl in a bottle in um, a tight container. So I'll show you all that. You may not understand what I mean at the moment, but you'll it'll all come clear to you when you see my treat collection, which I'll be working on sometime next week. So yeah, that's everything today, guys. So that's it. So yeah, I think yeah, that's everything. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. So uh, what's coming up now in the next few weeks is you've got a new um, updated diet video with me actually showing you how I mix the food. Touch wood. If not, it'll just be the dark. But I'm going to really do my best to um, show you how I mix it. So you've got that. You've got the treat collection coming up soon. Uh, I've got cage tours coming up soon. 
and uh, the other information I told you on my last video about what, what else I'm doing to my channel. So uh, everything's looking quite good for my channel this year. Yay! So yeah, guys. I, um, oh yeah, before I go, I'll just quickly tell you about Rizabi. Um I went back to the vet today because my cat was uh, got an ear infection. Can you believe it? It's just my luck. And she's found a tumour on my cat, you know, the mammary glands. But um, it's, we've, we've known about it for months. It was a cyst originally, but she said it's gone really rock hard. Rock hard. So um, she's given her antibiotics as well for her ear infection and some steroids. And then what we're going to do is if it gets any bigger in the next month or two, she's got to go in now, my cat, and have it removed. <sighs> it's all go, believe me. And then with Rizabi... Like I said, he's booked in again now for t uh, Tuesday. So he's going to, because he's finished his, anti his Batrel on Monday, he should finish it on Monday. So she'll see him on Tuesday. And if he's no change with his weight or he's still not eating proper. Uh, but he's doing well. He had some rust, uh, filed his rust this morning and he loved it. So if, uh, if, he, if he doesn't put his weight on and he's not, doing as well as she wanted him to then she's having him in as well like I said to do that exploratory surgery on his mouth in his dental dental check so um, that's a bit worrying because he's tiny he's got to go through sedation but that's all to come so that's it guys that's uh, updates and the all and hope you enjoyed bye